So hello everyone, welcome to Aceling Academy's YouTube channel. My name is Arjun Shaba. I'm a faculty at Aceling Academy and this online platform. So with us today, it is uh, we are proudly welcoming over here in this video Puneet Soni. And uh, Puneet Soni is already ranked six in GATE 2025. And he uh, is online test series student at Aceling Academy and also Ace Publications um, student as well, who has been uh, going through our books over the years throughout his preparation journey. So thank you, Puneet. Thank you for joining us and congratulations. Thank you so much, sir, for giving me this opportunity. You're welcome, Puneet. Um, you know, it's a privilege for us that you, um, you know, joined us uh, in this today's session. Point, point being, um, Let's discuss about discuss about you. What has been your journey throughout the years, and uh, how you have been preparing, and when did you started your preparation, and what is your college uh, experience like? Okay, sir. Uh, sir, uh, my gate to journey started back in two thousand eighteen, uh, where I gave my first attempt in my college. I did my B Tech from uh, State Government College of UP BIIT Jhansi. In my final year, uh, actually I started preparation in third year. Uh, so uh, during the third year, I start reading uh, standard books. I have read the standard books of electrical engineering. And in the final year, I have uh, ordered the ACE publications booklets where I have studied through it and attempt the workbooks of ACE publication. In 2018, I have secured All India rank 4,500. So then I okay. decided to, yes sir. So then I decided to took a drop and then again, I took self-study mostly. And for some concepts, I refer lectures. And mm -hmm. in 2019, I secured All India Rank 154. Using that oh, rank, okay. sir, yes, sir. Using that rank, sir, I have joined a Maharatma PSU. And I have been working in this PSU from past five years. Which but, PSU? Uh, sir, it's actually Maharatna PSU. Achha. No, name of the PSU. Uh, sir, it's ONGC. Okay. Okay. Sir, actually, uh, when I got 154 rank, I want to do MTech because my interest in research, but due to financial uh, problem, I decided to join PSU uh, to mm -hmm. improve the financial stability of my family. Now, okay. uh, it's been five years and I want to pursue my dreams. And I decided to do MTech. So I again decided to uh, go for GATE in this year. Okay. So I started my journey around uh, June 2024. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, for this year, I have uh, referred some lectures and I ordered uh, ACE Bits and Book, Bits and Bytes publication, which I uh, thoroughly practiced it. And luckily, I got AIR6. Superb, um, Puneet. An interesting journey also. Because um, I have rarely seen students cracking gate examination twice and with that much gap in between. So it thoroughly tells about a lot about you, right? And uh, what has been your dedication towards your subjects, commendable. Uh, getting all India ranked six in the current times when the exam was very tough, also in electrical engineering, it's very good. Commendable. Uh, point being, um, why are you inclined towards research that much? Sir, actually, I have always interest in technical subjects. I want to go more deeper in technical subjects. Okay. So I always decided to do MTech. But now I get a chance, so I will do. So, sir, so I want to go you, for it. What are you planning? So my planning is to do MTech either from VLSI or from Power Electronics. Oh, uh, from yes, sir. Uh, Have you thought thought of semiconductor technology, sir? Uh, I only thought about that these two branches right okay. now. Okay. And uh, what is your focus? Which college is your focus? Uh, my primary colleges are ISC Bangalore, or IIT Bombay. Yeah, you know, premier yes. colleges out there. Yeah, superb. Uh, let's discuss about test series. Like, how much solving tests has helped you during your preparation journey in both of your attempts? And what is the difference 
you have observed in your journey, let's say there is some other student who is giving gate examination with this much gap only, how to approach for their second attempt? Please throw a light on that as well. Yes. Sir, so actually, it's been five years. Uh, there's a gap of five years. And also, uh, this time, I have prepared along with my job. So it's very difficult for me to manage my preparation. But uh, mm. I somehow managed my daily routine. And I got around three, four hours of study. Daily, I used to study. And in weekends, mm. I used to study, study seven to eight hours. So according oh. to me, test series is very important for a gate aspirant. Because... Uh, Test series boost our preparation, checks our preparation, and uh, it helps us to uh, we can uh, uh, I, just a familiarization of gate exam. We mm -hmm. we uh, from test series uh, we give subject wise test. In subject wise test, uh, it is uh, this test improves our concept. So mm -hmm. when I give subject test test, I do not focus on the clock or number of attempts. I focus on okay. today I will learn new concepts. I will got new yeah. questions to solve. Mm. And on the other hand, when I solve mock test, my target is to achieve good marks. I think yes. above 70 and 75. So I focus okay. on accuracy, then speed. Mm. So this is the way mm. I uh, attempt test series. So learning from the smaller tests and implementing those learnings. Yes. And you know, using those learnings in the main examination. That was primarily your approach. Yes, sir. Okay. Superb. Yeah. You know, you know you, I used to, you know, consider the same approach during my preparation journey as well. I used to, uh, you know, solve the subject wise test series and uh, multi subject test series in a similar way mm -hmm. and used to learn from them and just rectify my mistakes in the actual exam, you know, mock test, yes. online mock test. Superb. Very nice. So Very I, also, I also make a, a booklet for test series where I have not done all the questions which I found yeah. very good questions or I, I am unable to solve it or some mistakes which I repeated more times. I used to note it daily. And I whenever I revise that subject, I revise these mistakes so that I cannot, I do not repeat it again. So you had made a separate short notes for your mistakes in your test series yes, and uh, important questions also important new concepts as well. The so short notes are like different and mistakes of test series or any mistakes I make separate note. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. So yes. uh, you know the mistakes one were mixed or uh, they were subject wise. So subject wise. Super, very good. And before attending another test, would you uh, revise those mistakes once again and then going for more tests, right? S sir, uh, I revise generally uh, when I revise the subject, then I also refer these mistakes. Okay, super. Super. One more thing, uh, just tell me one thing. Uh, it's very, um, you know, not natural for us to listen to a person who says that I am leaving a PSU for MTech programs and that too after five years. What Actually, experience sir, have you? <laughs> attained in your five years of um, ONGC experience and uh, what was your learning of those five years and how are you implement trying to implement those learnings in uh, your MTech? How are you planning that? So actually, uh, uh, I either will take study leave or do executive MTech, but I yet not decided to design it. I'm doing MTech yet now I'm my motive is to do MTech for my self growth. After MTech, I will see the another options. But right now, it is I want to do for my self growth. Uh, okay. During my five years of my job uh, in my PS in PSU, uh, actually uh, uh, PSU is dream of many other aspirants. So mm -hmm. in PSU, we got a balanced life, and also we got the linear growth of our profile, and. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, another hand, uh, I want to uh, go more deeper into technical subjects or uh, uh, I want more exposure of my branch. So that's why I decided to do MTech. Okay. Very good, very good. Um, it's a motivation for the students as well. See, uh, financial stability is important. Um, I am very much advocate, advocate, advocate of that because when you are a student deprived of money, right, and deprived of money in the sense of our family problems and everything which are 
a very real issue. We cannot ignore all that and focus only on studies every time. So whenever you get the first opportunity, right, uh, any job, take that and keep on preparing. Do not leave your preparation, actually. That is the main game. And how you are managing your subjects, how you are managing your concepts parallelly to your job, that is the real game. If you are able to beat that, you are next level. Um, you know, you are out of the competition, actually. Out of the competition in the sense, ahead of the competition. Right. That's what Puneet has done. And uh, very beautifully, he has achieved all near rank six. It's very commendable. Um, talking about Bits and Bytes, our uh, book, Pichutut, how that book specifically helped you? So actually, uh, Bits and Bytes really helped me a lot for uh, boosting my concept. Uh, in 2019, uh, uh, I thought that this year, from this year, I mean, in comparing both year, in this year, if I thought that if I follow the same strategy, then I would also get a two-digit rank, three-digit rank, but I have to little bit change something so that I can secure single-digit rank. So I thought, let's take my profession to another level. So I mm -hmm. all already know that that is bits and bytes are advanced level questions. So I when I practice in them, that I feel that they are very good questions. And from that question, I uh, learn lots of concept. Mm -hmm. There are questions, uh, some questions are tricky, some questions are conceptually, some questions are lengthy. So there are a mixed variety of questions, which really help me to boost my concepts. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I think uh, most of the questions in our Bits and Bytes books um, are a combination of questions which have been inspired from previous year engineering services questions previous year, um, uh, UPSC civil services questions, some gate questions as well, and some of our, um, you know, questions which have been framed by the faculties of ASMING Academy. Yes. So I also... Uh, all the yes, questions, sir. right? One of the best selling books that ASMING Academy has produced over the years. Yeah, because sir, I do not refer this book 2019. So this year, actually, I found new questions. So yeah. these new questions really helped me. You see, actually, every couple of years, we try to update our book as well. And uh, we add on new questions in our book. And uh, so that we are up to date with the concepts which have been asked previously and also inspired from the previous year questions. Chale, um, Puneet, superb explanation of your journey. And um, truly a very inspiring journey, specifically for the fact that how you have been amongst the toppers for two times, right? And that too with so many years of gap in between. This shows your dedication, patience, and perseverance over the years. Thank you very much for joining us. And um, surely students will gain a lot from this video. And one more thing, do you want to add anything apart from what questions I have asked you? You think you want to uh, tell the students something else? from your side? Sir, I want to tell students that uh, just do not complex your preparation. I mean, many students want that we will follow this books, this material. Just follow one material and make your preparation simple. Attempt, uh, uh, attempt either attempt the lectures, then, prepare, then solve the workbook question, then test series, and PYQ. This is a simple step, just doing follow it. And there are many times that you can be motivated. So always remember that consistency and hard work, always consistency and hard work can even uh, be motivation. Yeah, sure. superb. Thank you very much, Puneet. Thank you for joining with us. Thank you, sir. And uh, I hope uh, I was able to ask you a lot of questions which would help students as well. And um, students, do share it with your friends so that... Uh, Puneet, the message which has been given by Puneet is uh, spread amongst all the students out there in our community. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining with us. Thank you so much, sir.